this is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Riyadh for Latino Week, Latino Fight Night on uh, Saturday. I'm joined by Virgil Ortiz. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How about you? All good. You enjoying Riyadh? Yes, I am. I am. It's fun out here. You know, we, got, we are in a amusement park right now. We're, we're doing a press conference and everything's fun. Yeah. If you close your eyes, you could be in Mexico right now. <laughs> it really could be, yeah. So thank you very much. Um, what's your pick for the main event between Zerdo and Billum Smith? What do you think happens there? Yes, yeah, so, okay, so I've actually never seen a Smith fight before. I just know that he's a he's a big fighter. He looks very strong. Um, Sudo is a, is a very big fighter as well. You know, he's strong as well. He can box. So I, I've never seen another guy fight before, so I can't really give you a, a thing, but I know it's going to be a fun fight. Should be an interesting fight. Right, everyone wants to know when you're going to make your uh, return to the ring next. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so I think it's going to be in February. It could be here. You know, it's, it really depends on uh, the opponents. Uh, I don't know who yet. You know, that's, that's kind of why the reason I'm here too, not only to support the fighters, but kind of talk business to who I'm going to fight next. And I'm sure once we get that sorted out, we'll, we'll have some news for everybody. <laughs> Uh, Since Sharon Ennis' win, there's been a, a bigger cry now for the fight between yourself and Boots. Um, how realistic is that fight to happen in 2025? I mean, I feel like it's very realistic. You know, he's a big 147. You know, he's expressed his interest in going up to 154. You know, and uh, he's expressed that, that he's open for a fight with me. So, I mean, that's, uh, and I'm open too. So, I mean, I think that's really all that matters. So, I mean, I think it's very possible. Uh, it could be the next fight. It could be later on in 2025. Um, I, I really couldn't tell you, but it, it can happen pretty soon. Were you impressed with his win um, last time out? I mean, no, not really. Um, you know, it's uh, you know, fighters can have their off days or off fights or whatever. You know, uh, he, it's it's been two times that he didn't look good against this fighter. You know, I don't. It doesn't make me think any less of him. It's, like I said, it's probably maybe the, it was an awkward fighter or what. But you know, when the fight happens, I'm it's we're gonna take him 100, 110 percent serious. So. It's interesting when somebody has a, a below performance because then the fans start saying, oh, Ortiz are definitely beat him. Or if, if someone has has a say an off night or whatever, then people start then trying to pick holes in that and saying, oh, he would definitely beat But boxing doesn't work like that, does it? Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Uh, I mean, that's how fans are. You know, and, you know, it's. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just sometimes... Uh, sometimes I wish they would... Believe in us a little more, you know what I mean? Oh man, you know it's it's fine, but sometimes oh no no he's done or no you know what I mean? I I just wish they was never any really good anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so I mean that's it. Yeah. Virgil, I'm from the UK. I do want to ask you: Does the fight with Conor Ben interest you? Yeah, that's a great fight as well. You know, I think, I believe he's at what is he 160 right now? Because he was gonna fight Eubank, right? Well, that was gonna be a, a catch weight. I mean, that was from two years ago, but. I suppose. You know, he hasn't fought in a while, so he might. He's he had two be, fights in two years. He might fight at 160, just a catch weight. You know, uh, if we're going to fight, it's going to be at 154. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's an interesting fight as well. Is that something that would interest you to come to the UK to do, Virgil? I wouldn't mind. No, you know, so I, I when I flew here, my, my stop was in London. And. Everyone, everyone there was real classy. You know, they they were so nice to me, and uh, I like the food there. I, I tried a Wagamama. Oh, yeah. Wagamamas. Wagamama, yeah. yeah. And I want to try Nando's. Everyone's telling me to try Nando's. I'm like, okay, I got to try Nando's now. And I tried like different coffee spots. I'm like, okay, I need to go. Like, I, I need to go visit out there sometime. So, if that's an excuse to go to London, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Have a fight. <laughs> Have a fight. Eat some Nando's or Wagamamas. Have you had Greg's? Do you know what Greg's? Is? I, don't, I don't know what Greg's is. No. Greg's is like a, a famous bakery. Yeah. It's a high street. Do you know when I say high street? Do you know what? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So it's a high street bakery that's in every high street in in the UK. Oh, okay. So try Greg's as well. Oh yeah, Greg's. I, I'll keep that in mind. I'll yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah. Virgil, I've got to ask you about Friday night in Dallas. Are you a fan of this fight happening between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, or not really? Man, I I really don't care. I think it, I think it's just kind of a like a, a circus fight. You know what I mean? I mean, he, the, Mike Tyson's like almost sixty. I don't even know if he's sixty or not. You know, Jake Paul, he's a he's honestly he's just any he's cloud chasing if I'm being honest one of, you know, first, I mean, one of the most entertaining fighters I don't it's, it's just not a respectable fight you know what I mean like do it for if you're doing it for money that's fine but playing it off as if it's a real fight like it's a realistic fight that's you know that, that's that's the part that I don't like you know what I mean like when, when 
Mayweather and McGregor fought. It was an exhibition. Oh, it's an exhibition fight. It's not. It's it's a fight, but it's like you know. I respected that. That was cool. And I actually had fun watching that fight. But I don't think I would have fun watching Tyson versus Jake Paul. You're not gonna watch it, Virgil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said the same thing. It's like when you're driving past a car crash, isn't it? You, you, have, to, you have to look. You have to look. I'm gonna watch it like, for sure. Well, I mean, there's gonna be like a time difference. So fuck, like, am I? Yeah, it's gonna be at like, some stupid o'clock. I don't know. I haven't worked it out actually what time it's gonna be on here in Riyadh, but yeah, it's and that was happening in my backyard. It's literally happening like 10 minutes away from my house. I, but no, I'd rather be here supporting my friends, you know what I mean? It was some real boxing. Some real boxing, you know? But it's okay. I mean, I, I, might, I might take a peek. I'm not going to lie. I might take a peek. So. Through the covers, like that. <laughs> yeah. I do appreciate your time. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time here in Riyadh. And we look forward to hearing when you're back out in action, if that's February or whenever. We look forward to hearing news about that. Well, thank you so much for having me, man. Thank you. Come and fight in the UK, man. Oh, fuck yeah. No, I want to see that. I want to come. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sell out one of them stadiums, you and Connor Ben. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, let's go, man. Sheffield, you know, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Hell yeah. What's up, man? Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.